Aston Villa, you just cruise controlled into the next round of the Carabao Cup by beating Barrow. Before we get into today's video, I'm going to set a like target of 100 likes. If we can hit 100 likes on this video, it would be much, much appreciated. And without any further ado, let's get in to today's video. So basically, it's Tuesday. It's, uh, it's coming up. It's very, very late. It's coming up to around 10 p.m. And uh, Aston Villa just cruise controlled into the next round of the Carabao Cup by beating Barrow. It is what we expected. Now, some people also, uh, big companies such as Sky and so forth, we predicting that Barrow would upset Aston Villa. It's not happened. A few plays in particular that shone very, very well for Aston Villa. One in particular for me, Al Ghazi. It was absolutely incredible. You might be thinking, what's next? Well, what's next for Aston Villa is Saturday. Saturday against Brentford. So that's Saturday the 28th of August at 3 p.m. Aston Villa are playing Brentford. Now, guys, the lineup that you've seen tonight is going to be incredibly different than the lineup you're going to see this weekend against Brentford. And may I just say... This is an in-form Brentford. It's a very strong Brentford. It's a Brentford that beat Arsenal at the beginning of the season. Now, Aston Villa, just some facts here to give you. Aston Villa have never lost a top-flight match against Brentford. They won five and drawn one. In regards to Brentford, they're unbeaten in the last six league meetings with Aston Villa. They've won three and drawn three, all in the championship between 2016 and 2019. Aston Villa haven't lost their first Premier League meeting with an opponent since 2008, uh, going down 3-2 at Stoke City. Now, please mind the Stoke, Stoke accent as I'm saying that. And Aston Villa have scored two goals in each of their last five Premier League games. Um, they last scored two plus goals in more consecutive top flight matches in October, November 1980. And lastly, Brentford are yet to concede a goal in the Premier League this season, with only two newly promoted sides keeping clean sheets in the first three games of the season, which were Charlton Athletic in 1998, 1999 and Huddersfield Town in 2017 and 2018. Guys, some facts there. That's what's next for Aston Villa going forward. Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Like I say, it was a very interesting game tonight. They coasted past Barrow. On to the weekend playing Brentford. Very exciting game coming. I'm Spin Scott. This is Total Football. I can't get my words out. And I'll see you next time.